Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Family Sedan channel. And here's a headline from the Crypto Basic. Top crypto influencer says he will not buy XRP even if Ripple wins. And they're talking about one of the most well-known crypto influencers, broadly speaking, uh, I think it's fair to say on the entire planet. I mean, he's he's got over a million followers. I mean, if, if you're in that realm, you're, you're among the most well-known. I think it's very fair to say here. And he just consistently says weird nonsense crap that doesn't make sense about XRP. He doesn't like XRP. I haven't seen him articulate why. It doesn't make sense. I even asked him, and not that he owes me a response or anything, but uh, it's crickets, you know? It's, and since this is going to be a video where we're just kind of taking out the trash, here's a headline, mainstream media, thank you, the Motley Fool. Is it finally time to give up on XRP? That's a headline. Is it finally time to give up on XRP? Where is this coming from? And it's, it's, there are factual inaccuracies in here too. So I think that we need to take away uh, writing privileges from the Motley Fool. They need to have a timeout for like a week. Let's just, just you, you know, you're, you're getting punished for a week because you're saying nonsense and jibber jabber and hoo-ha that don't make no damn sense up in this bitch. That's what I have to say. But before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. You know what, let's go ahead and start with this one, actually. There's just a few parts of this I wanted to go ahead and rip to shreds, and then we can place this uh, piece in the Moon Family Sedan wood chipper where it rightfully belongs and shall stay forever thereafter. Anyway, piece reads as follows. And this is just like, it's, it's a bad take, and there are also factual inaccuracies in here. So check this out. Uh, the long-term outlook for XRP hinges on a crucial legal ruling involving the Securities and Exchange Commission. For nearly five years, crypto investors have been waiting patiently for XRP to return to its early glory days. At one time, people referred to XRP as a better Bitcoin, and its future seemed bright. However, since January 2018, when it peaked at $3.84, XRP has seemingly done nothing but shrink... Okay pause. Literally not true. Now look, <laughs> there's so much to unpack here already. It's, as far as XRP's future hinging on what happens in the SEC v. Ripple case, absolutely untrue. Literally untrue. You know, you know in, in terms of its um, adoption and usage in the United States, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a major factor for the, in the United States specifically. But I'll say this, even if we get the worst outcome imaginable, in the SEC v. Ripple case, like, let's just say XRP is outright banned in the United States. You can't even hold it. Let's just say it's a disaster, worst case scenario, which I don't think is going to happen. But just, just say that happens. The rest of the world doesn't give a damn. Ripple continues. They'll just move out of the United States and continue doing what they're doing. On-demand liquidity is continuing in terms of adoption. It's, it's just dramatically increasing, seemingly at an exponential pace. That's not going to stop. All the other developers uh, on other, in other, all corners of the world building stuff on the XRP ledger, they're not going to be like, oh, I guess I'm going to stop building this thing because the SEC said a thing and they want a court. <laughs> no, that's not how this works, you idiot sticks. Like, this is, that is not how any of this works. Um, and, and then in terms of XRP's actual performance, yes, it's fair to state that the price action of XRP is artificially suppressed, I certainly believe that, thanks to the SEC nonsense. And I think that's why XRP was the only top 10 cryptocurrency uh, by market cap this, this past market cycle to not hit a new all-time high. It's the only one. And I suspect that if not for that, it would have. We, are, we would have already seen that new all-time high. But again, artificial suppression right here. Um, and then as far as it being um, you know, a, a better Bitcoin, people do still say that. I think it is a better Bitcoin, certainly from a technological perspective. And I'm pro-Bitcoin. I hold Bitcoin. I'm optimistic for it for the long term. XRP just happens to be my favorite cryptocurrency. But it, you know, XRP still, to state that it's been doing nothing but shrink, Hell no, that's not true. I mean, it went down to, after the SEC claims in, in late 2020, it got down to, what, whatever, 16, 17 cents. But then months later, it jumped up to $2. And I'm sorry, you're saying it's seemingly done nothing but sh nothing but shrink? Have you been a paying attention to what's been happening to XRP in terms of price action for the last two years? Apparently not. Well, this is why, again, I say the, the writing privileges of the Motley Fool must be revoked for at least a week so they can think about what they've done. Anyway, peace continues. While well, XRP still ranks as the sixth largest crypto in the world with a $21 billion market capitalization, it has been in a holding pattern for the past two years amid a pending legal case with the Securities and Exchange Commission. 
Signs of a breakthrough in this case came in late 2022, and XRP briefly rallied on the news. With the latest update from Ripple Labs, the team behind XRP, which is a factual inaccuracy, Ripple did not create XRP, you idiot six, uh, is that nothing is going to happen with the SEC case until June at the earliest. So is it finally time to give up on this former crypto darling? Oh God, what a bunch of crap. Who writes this nonsense? XRP is, f for good reason, in the top 10 cryptos by market cap. And it always has been for its entire existence, despite all the nonsense and despite FUD articles like this. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to cease to exist. Former crypto darling, it's one of the most popular cryptos on the entire planet. Number six in terms of market cap, out of over 20,000 coins, and you're asking if it's all over, we should just uh, say, okay, well, we gave it a go. Just take your ball and go home. This is ridiculous. And then they cite the following here. Under XRP scenarios, in many ways, the ruling in this case will determine the future of XRP. In the best case scenario, the judge will side with XRP. Ripple Labs will be free to build out the future of cross-border payments. The Ripple payment network will grow exponentially in size and the price of XRP will rise. Let's so pause again. As I stated, this XRP's future does not hinge on Ripple. If Ripple ceases to exist, XRP will be just fine. It will absolutely see, it will be just fine because it's actually useful. Um, my gosh, I just, who comes up with this stuff here? Uh, anyway, peace continues. On Monday, it was trading in the neighborhood of 43 cents. By some estimates, XRP could rise to $5 or higher on a positive ruling in the case. Yeah, let me pause and say this also. Um, there are, there's no shortage of individuals and institutional uh, money that has flown into XRP recently in anticipation of the SEC having its rear side handed to it. The SEC, <clears throat> and, 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 uh, not only that, even if the SEC wins, you still could have positive clarity for XRP holders and for XRP itself, because XRP by the nature of it existing is not a security. So there's reasons that people have been, been placing their bets accordingly, and I'm doing the same. I mean, I, I'm just sitting here holding. I'm optimistic for the future. And, but then they state the following year. In a worst case scenario, though, the XRP token could go to zero. No, not because of this anyway. I mean, if there's some sort of flaw in the code that somebody finds and exploits, which is infinitely unlikely after being attacked for a decade unsuccessfully, fine, then it goes to zero. But it probably, anyway, unless you could actually patch it. Even then, I'm actually not technically 100% sure. So the, but the idea that the SEC case, everybody around the world's going to be like, oh, well, it's, it's worth nothing now. No, that's not how any of this works. And then there's this section titled, Should I Buy XRP? And of course, you might already guess the answer from this particular author is no. And look, I'm not telling anyone to buy or not buy XRP. I'm just sharing my personal humble opinion. But my gosh, look. I don't know what the potential downside is if we get a bad ruling. I mean, I think that, yeah, XRP would break probably dramatically to the downside if you get a disaster ruling for XRP holders, not just Ripple, but if you, there's a bad, something bad in there for XRP holders. But then, you know, markets will do what they do. There's going to be a buyer at the other end of each of these transactions, all these people that want to sell and get out. And, you know, bottom will, will be found. And then XRP will go back to moving in tandem with the rest of every other crypto. Even if it's harmed at that point, you know, from in terms of what it's worth relative to fiat currencies, but so what? It would it's not going to die is the point, point. and I still don't think that's most probable. So, but anyway, if you talk about the downside risk compared to the upside reward, my gosh, I mean, hell, what if the positive news is enough to get XRP to the point where it blasts off so high that it it, it does hit a new all time high? What if we don't have to wait until the next bull market? I mean, some people argue we're in one now. Maybe we are in a bull market now. But what if we don't have to wait for the euphoria phase? What if, what if, uh, ju just we get positive news and XRP blasts off? I mean, I don't know if that's not going to. I'm not going to make that prediction, but that doesn't seem like a crazy idea to me. And so, if you look at the potential downside versus the potential reward, like for me, it's a no-brainer. My God. Now into this one. Top crypto influencer says he will not buy XRP even if Ripple wins. Oh, this guy, Lark Davis, crypto influencer Lark Davis. Supports Ripple in the SEC case, but that's where it ends. This guy has over a million followers. Um, over a million followers on Twitter. And on YouTube, he's got close to half a million subscribers. Very well known. Anyway, in a tweet today, a crypto influencer and YouTuber, Lark Davis, with above one million subscribers, well, uh, followers on Twitter, he's got about half a million subscribers on YouTube, so they got that wrong, uh, expressed his desired outcome in the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission case against Ripple. So look, fine. 
The one place where I can give him credit is at least he's saying, yes, he wants Ripple to win, and that would be the right thing. Okay, credit where it's due. But the rest of what he has to say is nonsense. So here's the tweet that he put out. I just It's amazing that agree to which XRP is attacked. And it just... I never see a thoughtful articulation of, of why, or almost never. I mean, some people have a serious problem with Ripple's holdings of XRP, and I don't care about that, but I can at least respect and understand where somebody's coming from if that's it. But some of these people, that's not, they just, they hit it. Oh, it's the banker's coin. No, the, the Bitcoin's the banker's coin. But what, Goldman Sachs, JP Moore, pick your big firm, pick your big bank. They like Bitcoin <laughs> much more. So I just, ugh. The, the, la the lack of logic. So Lark Davis tweeted out, I hope that XRP wins their court case, but I am still not going to buy it. And so I wrote to him and I simply wrote, why don't you like XRP? Because I I've never seen him articulate why. He just, he clearly doesn't like it. And he says a bunch of nonsense and he conflates XRP and Ripple. Um, and uh, former uh, Ripple employee Matt Hamilton jumped in and wrote to him and said, why are you always so keen to alienate your audience by pretending that they don't know the difference between Ripple and XRP? That's a really good question. Because again, he says he hopes XRP wins their court case. XRP is not being sued. It's fair to, our, to, to, to you know, word this in such a way that it's clear that XRP is under attack by the SEC. I do that. That makes sense. But it's, it's Ripple that's being sued. XRP is not going to win or lose. Ripple's going to win or lose. And then there will be uh, ramifications for XRP holders, certainly. But it's it, how does somebody with 1 million followers word something like that? It just it doesn't make any damn sense. But just so you can understand the type of caliber of influencer that we're working with here, it's not exactly a deal. Do you guys remember this? <laughs> I actually shared this at the time. This is from October of this past year. Lark Davis shared this tweet where he wrote, can 10,000 XRP make you rich? And so fine, you know, it's seeking engagement on, on Twitter. That, that's fine, that's fine. But one of the things he said in here was that Ripple is the parent company of XRP. I kid you not. And so I listened to this and it's just one of those like, <sighs> audible sigh. It's a facepalm audible sigh moment. And so I wrote to him and I said, you just said in this clip that Ripple is the parent company of XRP. How can any decentralized cryptocurrency have a parent company? Even if such a thing were possible, how could Ripple be the parent company of XRP when XRP was created before Ripple? Also note that XRP is an asset. Ripple owns lots of assets, such as desks in their offices. Is Ripple the parent company of the desks that they own? Or do you have a misunderstanding of what a parent company is? <laughs> I, I, folks, I'm pretty confident he has a misunderstanding of what a parent company is. How can you... It's like, are you new to crypto, bro? Like, do you even crypto, bro? Are you brand spanking new to all this? Parent company of a cryptocurrency. Oh, okay. So this is what we're working with here. Uh, here's another tweet. This is from December 7th of 2021. He wrote... And this, again, he's got a million freaking followers. This is amazing. He wrote, XRP is probably the most disappointing coin in the top 10, hasn't even come close to previous highs, and in my opinion, does not belong in the top 10 coins anymore. Do you agree? There you go. So he doesn't like it. He won't articulate why. He says he's not going to own it, no matter what. Um, and in terms of performance, so you think that XRP should cease to be in the top 10 because the SEC attacked it, resulting in an artificially suppressed price? That's that, that your articulation? Or is it rather impressive that it's remained in the top 10 despite all of the attacks and nonsense from people like you, Lark Davis? Hmm. <laughs> you, can, you can keep attacking it all you want. But, you know, it's... And also, if, if, you, if you look at metrics other than price, XRP impresses to a much greater degree than your beloved Bitcoin or pick your coin. Because XRP is actually being adopted. Yes, via Ripple's on-demand liquidity dramatically, but all sorts of other use cases as well. And now we've, it's going to have a bright future with NFTs, it looks like. There's all sorts of stuff happening within the ecosystem that he doesn't even know about because he thinks that Ripple's a parent company of an asset. Wow. This is what we're working with, folks. This is why we can't have nice things. This is why we cannot have nice things. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Family Sedan.